Now let us try a few practice exercises. Let me create another package. Right click on source, new package. And then let me create a package called day1.exercises. And here I can create a new class called exercise A. Right click on the package, new class, exercise A, public static void main, click finish. You can view these packages two ways. Click on this, click on package presentation. You can either view them in a flat manner, that is it will show like day1.examples, day1.exercises, etc. Or you can view them in a hierarchical manner. Click on package presentation and say hierarchical. So what happens is it will say like day one and within which it will show you all the packages and the methods or classes inside those particular packages. So for this first exercise, let us take a look at this data. Imagine I have this data that is salary and tax rate. I want to write a program to calculate the tax. Now up to $15,000 the tax rate is 10%. From 15,000 to 40,000, the tax rate is 20%. And above 40,000, the tax rate is 30%. So write a program to calculate the tax. Imagine we have a salary, a double salary equal to 78,678.65. We want to see if this particular salary falls within those particular range. So let us have another variable called tax and let us use a series of if statement to calculate the tax. So here you can see how we have solved the problem. We declared some kind of a variable called tax equal to 0, 0.0 and then we are checking if the salary is less than 15,000 or less than or equal to 15,000 then calculate the tax as salary times 0 0.10% if the salary is less than or equal to 40,000, then calculate the salary at 20%. Else calculate the salary. It must be if it is not less than 15,000 and if it is not less than 40,000, it should be more than 40,000. So, so uh, above 40,000, calculate the salary at 30% and print out the tax. So let us save and run this. So here in this case, it will calculate the salary at 30% of 78,000. Suppose I have like 10,000 as a salary, it will calculate it as 10%. You can see that 10% of 1,000, uh, 10,000 is 1,000. If I say like 20,000 salary, it will calculate it at 20%. That is 4,000, which is 20% of 20,000. So we used a simple EFL statement to calculate the tax. For our next exercise, let us try to solve this problem. Imagine I have a string array called numbers, which basically has numbers, but they are present as strings. That is, you have like 10, but it is within quotes, basically it is a string. Imagine I want to find the sum of all these numbers. Well, how do I go about solving it? Let me first declare a variable in total equal to 0, and let me try to loop through these numbers, loop through these string data. So we can use an enhanced for loop. Now I cannot say something like this. This will not be acceptable. I cannot say total equal to total plus temp because temp is a string. So how do I convert this particular 10 into an integer? I can use a wrapper class. I can say something like this. I can say total equal to total plus integer dot percent of temp. That means I take the very first 10 from this array which is in temp, convert it to an integer and then I'll add it to the total. So the next time it comes over, the 20 will be taken into temp and then you convert the 20 and the 20 plus 10 total will be 30. So on, we can add all the numbers. Of course, a shorter way of writing this is you can simply say total plus equal to integer dot percent. And once we are out of the loop, we can print out total equal to total. Of course, don't try to print it within this particular loop because every time it loops through, it will print it again and again. Let us save and run this. So you can see that the total is 100 has been printed.
For our last exercise, imagine I have a string a equal to hello world. I want to print out the word world in lower case. Now how do I go about doing that? I can use a print statement and I can say a dot substring of. Now if I want to print out world, I can say like substring of 6. The reason I have to use 6 is h is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, the space is 5, so everything from 6, I want to print out everything from 6, so I will say a dot substring of 6. So when I save this and run it, you will notice that the world will be printed, but you can see that the w is in capital case. I want everything in lower case. So if I want to convert this whole thing into lower case, all I have to do is put a dot here and then say to lower case. Now you can save it, control S and then run it. Now you got the world printed all in lower case. So with this, we end our day one exercises.